I'm going to teach you how to do a hand painted ombre. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's amazing. Listen, not everybody can spray paint. Some people live out in Alaska. Some of you are in the North Pole. Some of you are in humidity like me. And spray painting is not always an option. So I'm going to teach you how to do a hand painted ombre and make sure that you're using acrylic paints uh, because I struggled the most blending the pink and the yellow and those are the only two that were chalk paints and the reason is that they dry faster and the key to getting a good blend is for your paint to be wet okay so <clears throat> make sure all of what you're using is acrylic paint so the first the first tip I'm gonna give you is make sure that you leave about a half an inch uh, apart from each color you want to leave that space because that white space that you're leaving in between your colors, that's where you're gonna ha have both colors come together and blend into one. So what I like to do is I like to use a different paintbrush for every color. This just makes sure that I don't cross contaminate. I want my colors to be very vibrant and I don't just want all of them to mix and make this caca brown, diarrhea brown, baby poop brown, throw up brown, you know? So that's why I'm using a different paintbrush for each color. And like I said, I'm just leaving, honestly, I don't even know if that's half an inch. That could be just a few centimeters. I really don't know measurements, okay? So just a pinch, just a pinch in between each color. And do the colors in whatever order you want. I don't use orange in my rainbows like right your rainbow would be uh red orange yellow green blue da, 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 da. i like to do pink yellow green so but you can do whatever you want <clears throat> because guess what i'm not the ombre police and i am not the rainbow police so i'm i'm not gonna come for you <laughs> okay so the here's the biggest tip make sure you dip half of your paintbrush in each color right? So half in yellow and half in, in the pink, and then start painting over that middle section. Now, the reason you want to grab fresh paint, wet paint, is because in order for the two colors to blend perfectly, you want the paint to be wet, okay? And I'm telling you right now, dipping half the paintbrush in each color helps you not cross contaminate your colors too much and just stick to that middle ombre section now the pink and the yellow is the where i struggled the most and that's because my paint was chalk paint and it dried really fast and when it dries it stops blending so <clears throat> make sure you use acrylic paints not chalk paints but once i felt like i had the ombre nice and good where i wanted it to be i picked up the next brush and dipped half and half in each color. I repeated this process for every single color. This is probably the color that I had to kind of work the most, the pink and the yellow. Um, so I even had to grab a yellow brush and go over and just kind of paint over some of the contaminated parts. But here you see me dipping into the green and the yellow. Also, like I dipped into the green and yellow and then put the paintbrush down on the wrong side. Like, do you see how I got a whole bunch of yellow up into the green? Ay, mensa, pon atención, put atención, put atención. I'm sorry, I was distracted. <clears throat> um, this is a live class that I taught in my Baddie VIP app. So this is an actual recording of that live class. So I was probably gossiping and talking crap and got distracted but it was an easy fix. I just grabbed a little bit of green paint and came over and covered up that yellow that got pretty high up there. But look at that ombre between the yellow and the green. Do you see how it's a little more flawless than the one between the pink and the yellow? That's because my paints were super wet. So definitely for the 80th time, acrylic. <laughs> now I'm going to repeat the same process with the green and the blue. The green and the blue and the purple and the blue were probably the two easiest colors to blend. They were super easy to blend. They look beautiful. I, I'm just obsessed with this. Do you see how still at the bottom there's a little bit of that yellow over into the pink? I went back and fixed a little bit of that before finishing my, my cup. <clears throat> 
but I let this dry overnight because I did, you know, several coats of each paint. So even if your paint dries on the outside, on the surface, it's still wet on the inside. So just let it dry overnight before you do any sort of epoxy over it. And I did not seal with anything. I just, I went in, I applied my epoxy directly over my dry cup. I didn't seal with anything and I didn't have any issues with the epoxy repelling or anything like that. So yeah, baddies, this is how you do a hand painted ombre without having to use spray paint. If you guys like my content, if you enjoy me, please consider signing up for my baddie VIP app. I have my very own app. It's lots of fun. We have lots of perks for being in there, lots of cool things. You get to create your own profile and be part of the community. And I go live every week and do live classes. Here you're getting a tiny little recording, but this class was actually about an hour and 45 minutes long. Anyway, Here's what it looks like after I epoxied it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. I will leave the link in the description for you to sign up for my BIP app if you are interested. Besitos! See you next Saturday!